Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I think are the top 10 most important things to have at home when you have a newborn. A lot of these things were gifted to us for our baby shower. So again, thank you to all the special people who gifted us these items. Also, there will be a link to these items down in the description. So if you are interested in purchasing any of these items, go ahead and click on the link and any purchase you make will help support our channel. So number one is a bassinet. I'll go ahead and attach pictures of some of the stuff that I don't have here in front of me. Now I know a lot of parents prefer to sleep with their baby on the bed but it's actually not recommended to do that for safety reasons. I love this bassinet because it's a bedside sleeper so I'm able to pull it really close to my bed. It's actually touching with my bed. It allows me to bring down one of the sides so that I can easily look over and grab her and pick her up if needed. Also you're able to lock the wheels in place for safety. So this one's a really good one. I totally recommend it. Another thing that I purchased was this little like swaddling suit. It's meant to have like a snug fit on the baby. When it's on the baby, it looks kind of funny, but it's so adorable. We put it on her mainly like at night when it's time to go to sleep because during the day it's pretty hot, but at night it's chilly. So this works really well. You know, it keeps her cozy, it keeps her snug and she knocks out faster with this. So I love it and I totally recommend this one. And what's cool about it is that it has a zipper that you can unzip from the top or you can unzip from the bottom. There's another zipper down here. It makes it easy like when it's time to change your diaper. Next, a diaper trash bin. I, that's not what it's called, but it's this little like pail where you can dump the diapers in there with poop. That really works. I highly recommend that you get one of those instead of throwing the diapers in a regular trash can because it keeps the poop smell and pee locked in there. We don't smell it whatsoever. And that thing is holding like up to, I don't know, like 50 diapers. Really good to have that if you don't want to have, you know, that little poopy smell roaming around your house. Next are medications, ointments, and all that stuff. Really important to have if you have a newborn if you have kids at all I think it's really important to have the top three that I'm constantly using on my baby it's very common for babies to get like diaper rash my favorite is this product right here this butt paste is really good if your baby has like irritation or diaper rash it heals it like within two three days and then of course the classic a and d i think this one's more like to help prevent diaper rash whereas this one's more like if the baby already has a diaper rash it helps heal it in my opinion i don't know but these are really good to have and then um quickly i'm gonna share with you guys my baby actually had like a really bad case of baby acne at first i thought it was like a heat rash or eczema. I took her to the doctor and she agreed that it was more like a baby acne case. It's actually pretty common in a lot of babies but I was so worried during those times and I tried what the doctor recommended. She said to get aquaphor cream. It didn't really help so I came across this online. It's called Stellatopia Emollient Cream. Cream. I started applying this on her face and it took away the baby acne within like a few days If I say one week, that's even too much. I was just so amazed I'm really blessed that I came across this. I thank God for it If your baby ever has baby acne or eczema to me personally this helped of course always consult with your pediatrician first before trying any products But for my baby this worked and my doctor's aware of it I definitely recommend this product as well And then of course you want to have like the classic Tylenol for infants, a thermometer. There's also this medication called Mylocon. All those things are really good to have in your cabinet. Next is a nail filer, which this was gifted to us. And we absolutely love this because as you know, babies' nails grow really fast. They're like little creatures that will scratch you out of nowhere or scratch their own little face. This one's really good. It's basically like an electric nail filer. It kind of reminds me of like the ones they use in the nail salon. You basically attach this little round tip to the nail filer. It's like this. And then you turn it on. It even has like a little light right there to help you see. So I really recommend having this product. Next, obviously you want to have a car seat, stroller. The stroller that we were gifted is a Graco travel system. I love it. The travel system is basically a stroller and then it also comes with a car seat that you can click on top. Now for me, that's very convenient because we can just easily clip on the car seat, put her on it, or we can take off the car seat and put it right into our car. We also got a car seat for when she gets older 
shoulder got wheeling and that one is called Chico Fit 4-in-1 Convertible Car Seat. And then to add to the stroller, we recently purchased this uh, car seat cover that's really cool. You get to attach it like a canopy over the car seat and it's really good to protect the baby from bugs and insects. It has UV protection and it allows the parent to look at the baby while pushing the stroller. With that, I also purchased this cute little pink fan. This one's also good to help the baby with the heat. These little like tubes are flexible so you can wrap it around the stroller, the car seat, wherever you want to uh, wrap it around. Next, it's really important for the baby to have their own bottle soap and their own scrub and a bottle rack as well. I personally don't like to be putting the baby's bottles with our dishes. I feel like it's not as sanitary and they don't recommend for you to use regular dish soap. So I purchased this one. This is unscented, powered by plants, baby friendly. <laughs> Um, I like it. I only use this soap for all her bottles and stuff. Next, you need a good diaper bag. Now, I saw this one time in store and I fell in love with it. It's this Michael Kors Baby Pink Giant Backpack. My mom actually got this for Eloise and I love it. I love, love this diaper backpack. <laughs> I don't think it's for a diaper bag, obviously, but that's what I use it for. But we were also gifted a couple other ones for the baby shower, but currently this is the one I'm using. I think it's so girly, it's so classy, it's cute. Next, kind of similar to dish soap for babies. I also have her own laundry soap, which this is the one I use. I think a lot of people use this one, the Draft soap for baby clothes it smells so delicious i didn't know that they also have softener they're like the little pebbles same scent same brand i love it definitely recommend you get this for your baby clothes again you don't want to be using like the regular soap you know that adults use for their clothes because it could be very harsh on a baby skin i know that when i was a baby my mom says that she did that mistake and i broke out with a nasty rash and then obviously you want to have a little basket for their dirty clothes because again i don't like to mix her clothes with our dirty clothes and then lastly i recommend that you have a little tub because of her sensitive skin like i mentioned earlier i like to use the Vino Baby. I know this is very popular and good for babies that have sensitive skin. So this is the one I'm currently using and this is for body and hair. And then I was also gifted a very nice tub. This tub is pretty cool because it has like a thermometer and a weight scale built into the tub. It lets you know how much your baby weighs and it lets you know the temperature of the water. And so that is it guys. Those are the top 10 things that I think are very important to have in your home if you have a newborn. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video comment down below share it with any new mamas out there that might find this video helpful and we will see you guys in our next video peace